In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Jobutsu exporter to export your metahumans as OBJs for modification in apps like Blender. Then I will show you how to re-import into the engine. To begin, we need to enable the plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Jobutsu. Enable the plugin. At this point, you may be prompted to restart the engine. Please do so. For our first example, I want to show you how to use this plugin with MetaHuman Creator. Here is my MetaHuman character that I'll be working with today. I need to export meshes from MetaHuman Creator. To do this, I go to MetaHuman Character, Export Face, Export Body, Export Combined Skeletal Mesh. This will create the Skeletal Mesh assets in the Content Browser. I want to export our face. I right click on the asset, go to Joe Butsu Exporter, and this pop-up appears. Here we can choose which meshes we want to export. I want to export head, teeth, eye left and eye right. And also I'm going to export a full mesh which contains all of these slots. Click OK. And a choose output folder dialog appears. I'm going to go to my download folder, tutorials and click select folder. A dialog appears, which tells you that five exported meshes are available now in the chosen folder. If there was a problem, it will tell you here. In the output folder, we now have all the meshes that I exported, including this full mesh. Now we have these OBJ files, we can open them up in Blender. Let's do that now. Today I'm using Blender because it's free and available to everyone, but you may want to use your OBJ files in a separate application. That's fine. I've cleared the scene here in Blender and I'm now going to import my OBJ files. The easiest way to do this is to select the files you wish to import. In this case, the eyes, the head and the teeth and simply drag those into Blender. In the dialog that pops up, set the forward axis to X, the up axis to Z. Uncheck Split by Object and Import. We now have our MetaHuman Mesh in the scene. I want to make some changes to my MetaHuman. Maybe we'll give it pointy ears. So to do that, I select the head mesh, go to sculpting and choose my brush. In this case, I might use grab. Avoid using tools that require dynamic topology. Altering the topology in this way will break the metahuman. I'm just going to do a very quick sculpt. I'm not the best at sculpting, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it is fine. So I'm using the grab tool to stretch the metahuman's ears and I'll do the same for the other side. I also want to make some changes to ensure my metahuman is less symmetrical. Let's add some variation. I'm going to be careful around the eyes because if I move around the eyes too much I am then going to have to adjust the other meshes here in the scene and I don't want to do that for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm going to adjust the nose slightly. Here you can be as creative as you like. Once you are happy go back to layout, select the mesh which you want to export. If you have edited all your meshes you will need to export them one by one. 
What I mean by this is select the head, export, select the teeth, export. Okay, so we select the head because that's what I want to export. Go to export, OBJ. Go to our folder. And call this head modified. Choose selection only. Forward axis is X, up axis is Z. I'm going to uncheck materials. And that's it. We now export. Great. Let's go back to Unreal Engine. First, we need to import our modified mesh. We drag this into the content browser and you'll be presented with the default import content dialog. Click use pipeline defaults. Go to the search box and search for combine and check combine static meshes. This just ensures that any meshes we import are not separated into individual parts. Click import. And that's it. Our static mesh is now in Unreal Engine. Let's apply this to our MetaHuman. Go back to our MetaHuman character. Click Conform. From Template. Scroll down to Asset. And choose our modified head mesh. Here you could also place your eye meshes and your modified teeth mesh. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just stick with the head modification. Click Conform. And there we go. Although it is not advisable, we can also edit our full mesh. Let me show you this. Let's open Blender and clear the scene again. Find our full face and drag that into Blender. Uncheck split by object. Import. And as you can see, we have full mesh. We can then select this, go to sculpting and make changes. With this method, be very careful around the eyes and making drastic changes that will move the surface away from the bones underneath. As metahumans utilize bones for animation. I'm going to grab, move the nose slightly. Okay, and once you're happy with that, you go back to layout, select your metahuman, click export and obj again selection only forward axis is x up axis is z make sure that materials is unchecked and this time we're going to call this full head modified and export Let's go back to the engine. This time, we're not going to drag our full head into the content browser. Instead, I'm going to open up our skeletal mesh. Come over here to the Morph Target Previewer. I'm going to click Import Morph Target. And I'm going to click the Full Head Modified. And this imports a blend shape. Our morph target is now imported. And if we set this to one, as you can see, our metahuman now morphs with the morph we created in Blender. You can either rename this here
or rename your mall before it is imported into the engine. Be careful about making drastic changes using morph targets, as this could break your metahuman. Metahumans require bones to be in specific positions in order for them to function. If you go too far with your sculpting, this method will break the metahuman. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I will provide practical examples shortly. Thank you for watching.